squeezing into a shell, running away really fast from predators, flying high up in the sky. These are all tactics that Mother Nature created to preserve life of some certain species. But what about hiding in plain sight? What about being there and not being there at the same time? That, my friend, is camouflage, and we're going to show you amazing camouflaged animals that actually exist. Keep watching and you may find one of them that's surprisingly always in your backyard. The Lectocephalus Most aquatic creatures are very defenseless when they are newly hatched. And in most cases, their parents never stick around to protect them, leaving them as a free target to predators out there. However, Mother Nature has a trick up her sleeve and it's been keeping them alive for a while now. In this case, the Lectocephalus, which really isn't a fish but a stage in metamorphosis, becomes very transparent and it actually stays like that for a few years. This gives the predators the illusion of a clear empty space of water so they don't even bother to try. Pygmy Seahorse The Pygmy Seahorse is not really up to 4 centimeters in length, but it stays close to the 40 meter depth which is really not a safe place for something that small and fragile to thrive. However, the Pygmy Seahorse has one trick up its sleeve and that is the act of camouflage. The seahorse spends most of its life near corals and so tries, which always turns out outstandingly successful, to morph into the color to match with the coral. The seahorse does it so well that even scientists find it difficult to cope with them and so have very little information on their existence. Chameleon This list won't ever be complete without the literal embodiment of camouflage, if anybody was to mention a few animals that could camouflage, a chameleon must be on his list. The reasoning behind the chameleon's changing its color to camouflage is due to the pigment underneath its skin. Under those pigments are layers that contain crystal cells known as guanine crystal. The changing of color then occurs when the chameleon decides to adjust the position of those cells, which changes the wavelength of the light that's reflected off the crystals, thus changing the color. A lot of things influence the chameleon's choice, things like environment and, surprisingly, its emotion. Stick Insect The stick insect, as the name goes, is designed to look like a stick and to never break character. When they are resting, they look like an ordinary common twig just laying there. Some even go as far as shaking like a tree branch so it'll look like the winds are shaking them. Talk about never breaking character. And when they become threatened, they play dead which makes them look like more of a stick than anything else, while some even break their legs to look more natural. Because a 53 centimeter stick with a few legs will clearly stand out to anybody. The stick insects can be found in places like China, Australia, and Madagascar. Let us know in the comments if you could spot it in the video. The Malaysian Leaf Insect We've talked about the stick insect, but have you heard of the leaf insect? The leaf insect, of course, looks very much like a leaf and actually does a very good job at it. The downside is that as leaves don't move in real life, Leaf insects spend their entire life making very minimal movement so as not to give away itself to predators like birds. It even tries to maintain character while reproducing by staying still and dropping some eggs that look like seeds or excrement. It's a pretty advanced and intelligent insect, but let's just hope an herbivore doesn't accidentally bite on it thinking it's a leaf. Mossy Frog this master of disguise lives in the wet forest of North Vietnam, near decaying wood and wet areas, to really blend into the background moss, which its skin looks like. It's as small as 8 centimeters and feeds on very small insects too. Unfortunately, their extreme camouflage doesn't always save them from predators, and with the continuous act of we humans cutting down their habitat, these beautiful masters of camouflage are at risk of running into extinction. Oak Leaf Butterfly 
the oak leaf butterfly has deployed a technique to make it survive for hundreds of years, which involves disguising itself like a dead, dried up leaf. Because nothing is ever attracted to a dry leaf. I know I'm not. When they settle on the surface, they only show the areas of the wings that look like a dry leaf, which is the outer part. They also change the shade of color of their wings to match the shade of the color of the forest affected by the seasons. For example, rainy season makes them change to a darker shade of color, while dry season makes them change into a lighter shade of color. They can be found in a lot of countries and areas of the world, but you have to look really hard enough to spot them. Octopus the octopus has always been a bit of a weird but fascinating creature. From its blue blood boneless bodies and three hearts, nature really went all out with this animal. Octopuses, or rather octopi, are brown in color by default, but when they're hiding or about to prey on something, they change to whatever color is necessary to achieve this due to commands issued by their nervous system to adjust the size of the pigments underneath their skin. Not only can they change color, they can also change the pattern of their color like adding polka dots, stripes, etc. to their color combination. They also seem to change their shape to match any seascape they want. A research found out that octopi can change color due to their emotions for example, when they're afraid, they change to white, and if they're angry, they turn red. They even change colors when they sleep, which led scientists to believe that they could also have the ability to dream. The Decorator Crab The spider crab is quite a common crab and can be found on the shores of the Maldives, California, Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand, and a lot of other countries of the world. Anywhere these crabs make an appearance, you can be sure they form part of the tasty meals of birds and other predators. So how do they survive this ordeal? They survive it due to the multiple sticky hairs on its body which help them to attach to nearly anything they pick around to attach themselves. From algae to coral to other aquatic plants, these crabs attach to nearly anything they can get within reach of of their pinchers to mask their appearance. Owls While we've been looking into very small animals, forgetting the fact that the large ones can also camouflage too. Well, maybe we didn't forget all the large ones. We did talk about the octopus. But you get the idea. Okay, I'm getting off track here, back to subject. Owls usually camouflage to hide from predators and also make sure they don't get spotted by prey. For example, the eastern screech owl has feathers that look like the bark of a tree, while the snow owl has feathers that look like the snow around them, thus making them nearly impossible to be spotted. Mother Nature also gave them the ability to fly at full speed without being detected, due to their feathers being able to break up the turbulence so prey find it nearly impossible to hear them when they're dashing towards them. A very silent, adaptive creature, or a creature with a very silent personality. Wabigong Shark This creature dwells on the ocean floor of Indonesia and Australia. They are nicknamed the Carpet Shark because of how they love to hug the floor of the ocean. They are sit and wait predators, which you would expect, and they lure unsuspecting prey towards them with the help of their tassels, which also sense movements around them. They look so much like their environment that some prey can even go as close as touching them without even noticing their presence. But at the end, it becomes too late for them. I personally find this kind of shark quite surprising because of the natural stereotype we've had for sharks, which places them as the type of predators to go out and attack the prey instead of sitting around all day. Orchid Mantis The orchid mantis is a clever insect that camouflages itself like a flower to lure unsuspecting insects towards itself and also hide from birds and other predators. The orchid mantis usually attracts insects that come to pollinate the flowers, 
only to meet a shocking reveal, but at that time, it's already too late. Which of these animals shocked you with their camouflaging abilities? Let me know in the comment section, and as always, like and subscribe to be part of our next video. Till then, stay safe, keep exploring, bye bye.